The problem of finding the largest rectangle in a histogram is a very interesting one. Given a list of integers denoting height of unit width bars in a histogram, our objective is to find the area of largest rectangle formed in the histogram. There are various solutions to this problem and while most of them have a quadratic runtime, the optimal solution, however, runs with a linear time complexity although it requires linear space complexity as well. The core logic behind the solution is to iterate the array once and for every element, find the area of largest rectangle which includes the current element completely. The maximum area of all such rectangles is our desired solution. To achieve this, let us consider the bar at position i. If we can find the first bar smaller than it towards the left and towards the right, the rectangle formed between the left and right bars with the height equal to ith bar will be the largest rectangle which includes the ith bar completely. If we can do this for all the bars in the histogram in linear time, then our job will be done. This task can be done very efficiently using a stack or more precisely an increasing stack. To create an increasing stack, we iterate through the array and for every element we push it to stack if it is greater than or equal to the top element of the stack or the stack is empty. If we encounter an element smaller than the top element, we start popping the elements from the stack until we find a smaller element in the stack or the stack is emptied. At this moment, we push the current array element on the stack. Now, if you pay attention here, an element is popped from the stack as soon as we find the first array element smaller than it as we iterate the array from left to right. This gives us the first smaller element towards the right of popped element. Also, notice that since we are maintaining an increasing stack, the new stack top will give us the first element towards the left of popped element which is smaller than it. As discussed, the rectangle formed between these left and right smaller elements with the height equal to popped element will give us the largest rectangle in the histogram which includes the popped element completely. We store this value as maximum area that we have found so far. Moving ahead, since the new stack top is still greater than the current element, we pop it from stack. For this popped element, the right smaller element is still the current array element which is responsible for kicking it out of the stack. As before, the left smaller element is given by new stack top element as we have an increasing stack. And as you might have guessed, the rectangle formed between these left and right elements with the height equal to popped element is max rectangle for the popped element. Since this is greater than our previous max area, we update the max area with a new value. The stack top element is now smaller than the current element. So, we push the current element on the stack, increment the counter and repeat the same process again. Since we have an understanding of the core logic now, let us see how to write code for this problem. We will need an integer stack and a couple of variables to keep track of current and maximum area. Next, we start iterating the array from left to right and push every element to stack. But before we do that, till the stack is not empty and the top element is greater than our current array element, we need to first perform some area calculations. We pop the top element and the max area for this element is given by but this is true only if the stack is not empty. If the stack is empty, then length of rectangle is to be considered from beginning of the array till i minus 1, which is i units. Once we have the current area, we update the max area found so far. Once we have iterated through array, if the stack is still not empty, this means that there was no element smaller than the stack top which could have kicked it out of the stack. So, in the absence of right smaller element, 
we will need to consider the end of the array for our calculations. The rest of the code is similar. We pop the elements one by one, calculate the area of rectangle for both the cases and update the max area. Once we are done with all the elements, return the max as our answer. As you can see, every element is pushed and popped from the stack only once. The area calculation is done once every time we pop an element from the stack. Therefore, the runtime of this algorithm is linear in the size of input array. Although, since we are using a stack for temporary storage, which in worst case can hold all the array elements at some point of time, the space complexity is also linear in the size of input. This problem demonstrates that stacks can be used in surprising manner to solve seemingly complex problems which otherwise require quasilinear or even quadratic runtime. There are other such surprising use cases of stack which I will tackle in future videos. Till then, keep coding.